this section we're going to look at um, five number summaries and how to use them to create box plots. And we'll also look at box plots on the calculator and something called skewed graphs. So here's a warm-up. Find the interquartile range of the following set of data. So the interquartile range is quartile 3 minus quartile 1. So this is Q3 minus Q1. So first let's try to find the five number summary of the set of data. So the five number summary is the minimum, then Q1, which is the median of the first half of data. And we're going to look at the median, which is also called Q2. We're going to look at Q3, which is the middle of the second half of data. And we're going to look at the max. Now, if the numbers aren't, or if your data is not in order, you'll want to put it in order first, and this is already in order. So the, the easiest step is to first start by finding uh, Q2 or the median, and you can do that by crossing out numbers until you get to the middle number. So here there's a middle number. If there's an odd number in your data set, then you'll have a middle number. If there's an even number of terms in your data set, you'll have to find the average of the two middle numbers. So here, uh, 7 is uh, Q2 or a median. So this is 7. So I'm going to erase this. So Q2. To find um, Q1, you're going to look at the first half of the data. So you're not going to include this middle term here. We're just going to look at these numbers right here. And you can see that the middle term then would be 6. So Q1 is 6. We'll do the same thing for Q3. We're going to look at the second half of data and find the middle number. And that will give us quartile 3, Q3. And then you can see the min and the max here is 1 and 25. So let's put those in. The min is 1. Q1 is 6. Q2 is 7. Q3 is 10. And the maximum is 25. Now what the quartiles mean is, um, right here, your median means 50% of your data is below Q2. Q1 is like the first quartile. Quartiles, you think of quarters dividing into four terms. It means 25% of your data is in Q1, and it would mean 75% of your data is in Q3, or from your minimum to Q3. Okay, so now that we found the five number summary, um, draw the box plot for that data. So this is the using the same data as before. So I'm just going to go back to the first page. It's all written out. Let's draw a box plot for this. Um, we know that we're going to have at least 1 to 25 on here, so I'm just going to draw a line. So I'm going to line right here. I'm going to go from 1 all the way to 25. So here's 1, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, Okay, so this is 1, this is 25, and basically we're going by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so to make a, a box plot, we're going to draw lines at these main points right here. So at 1, there's a line. At 6, at 7, 7, 6, 7, at 10, and then at 25 are the lines. The box is formed from connecting Q1 to Q3, and then you'll connect the min and the max to your Q1 and Q3. So there's the it's called the box plot. You might hear it as box and whiskers as well. Um, and that's doing it by hand. So again, you draw your line for the minimum, Q1, the median, Q3, and the max. Make your box connecting Q1 to Q3. And then connect your box to the min and the max. And there's your box and whiskers. Uh, step two, find the fences. So this is to find the outliers, which is in the next podcast too if you need more help. Uh, but to find that, you're going to find the interquartile range, multiply by 
Then you're going to subtract or add that from Q1 or Q3, and we'll draw them in. So let's do that work here. The interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So here Q3 is 10, Q1 is 6. So we're going to do 10 minus 6 is 4, is the first step. The second step is we're going to multiply 4 times 1.5, and that will give us 6. Then to draw the fences, we're going to subtract 6 from Q1, which was 6. We're going to add 6 to Q3, which was 10. So there's fences at 16 and at 0. So let's draw those in, in our picture. I'll use a dashed line here. Okay, so 16, here's a fence. And at 0, there's a fence. Anything that lies outside the fence are, um, is considered out an outlier, so we know 25 is going to be an outlier right here, so anything here is an outlier. Okay. Okay, so we did that. Anything outside the fence is an outlier. Draw those as points. The new whiskers are the numbers that are closest to but inside the fences. So this is for a modified box plot. So if you remember, we had our box plot that looks something like this. But there was a fence here at 16. So what you're going to do to modify it is you'll draw on this line here. You'll erase this part, and you'll draw your outlier as a point. So here, 25 was your point. So this is a modified box plot right here. OK, let's try it on the calculator now. Um, so we have the weights of the backpacks of 30 students. Let's do a couple things here. Find the five number summary. And also we can look at making the box plot on the calculator. So I have a TI-84, so you can follow along with that. On a Casio, here are the buttons to press it in. Okay, so let me grab my calculator. The first step is to enter your data into a list. So I'm going to enter those 30 numbers into a list by hitting STAT. STAT is this button right here. And then ENTER. Okay, so we get lists. If there's any numbers in your list, hit up, clear down. And then we're going to enter the numbers in, the 30 numbers. So we have 10. I'll just show you what I'm doing on my large screen here. 20. 17, 3, 10, 15, 15, 7. All right, so 10, 15, 15, 7, 10, 9, 10, 9, 7, 4, 7, 9, 13, 10, 4, 4, 8, 33, 10, 9, 7, 16. So you should have 30 numbers entered in. Yes, I am. So 16, 7, 9, 10, 33, 8, 4, 4, 7, 8, 10, 13, 9, 7, 6. Oh, I'm missing a 6. So I'll just enter the 6 in at the end. Okay. So now I have 30 numbers in. And to calculate the 5 number summary, you would enter or hit the button STAT, yes. STAT, go over to calculate, and it's called one variable statistics, you hit enter twice, and a couple things here, so X bar, the first number right here, 10.2, oops, I go back, so the 10.2 is your average, and then if you go down, N is 30 terms, the minimum is 3, Q1 is 7, the median is 9, 
Q3 is 10, and the max is 33. So instead of putting them all in order and figuring out the five number summary, now you can type them in your calculator by entering them into a list, calculating the one variable statistics, and then you get the five number summary. Okay. So now let's see what that looks like on our graphing calculator. So to do that, we're going to go to our stat plots blue, so I'm going to hit second, y equals. I'm going to turn my first stat plot on. Okay, and then I'm going to pick the box and whisker plot. So that you can see the first one is the modified box plot, and the second one is the box and whisker, so I'll pick the second one. Now we have to change our window to fit our data, so window. The x values here, I'm going to change from 0, and the max is 33, so I'm just going to go up to 40. And I'm going to go up by maybe, I don't know, 5s. And the minimum, I'm just going to start at 4. I don't think that matters. All right, let's try graphing it, see what happens. All right, so you can see here's the box and whisker plot. So the main thing is, um, whatever your min is, you have to make sure it's on your x scale. So I went from 0 to 40, because my... Um, five number summary, if we look at it, I can't go back, the five number summary went to 33. So there it is on the graphing calculator. Okay, so did that. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is something called a skewed graph. A skewed is when data is more spread out on a certain side of the graph. So if you had to match these, obviously symmetric would be this graph right here, where if you look at the middle of the graph, that's the same amount of data on the left as the right. Now right here, the data is more spread. So data, more spread on the left. So this is skewed left. And here the data is more spread on the right. So that is called skewed right. And later on this unit, we'll look at what this skewed graph looks like as a histogram. So here's your assignment. Uh, try out the problems. If you missed anything, go back in the podcast and rewatch them. Um, or you can ask for help in class.